Hello, my name is Nikki Cox and I'm an engineer at NASA and this is the five year anniversary of NASA Space Apps in Italy and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. A lot of times it feels a little bit more like we are the early Martians because we live on the Earth but we work on Mars. Have I ever Googled NASA? various times. Because I work there, I don't Google it very often. But a lot of different things come up if you search for NASA or ESA or OSI or the other space agencies of the world. Okay, so first one is the meaning of NASA. So NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. This is the US agency that is responsible for the exploration of space, but also learning about our planet. The NASA logo, look at that. And I just happen to have a shirt on with the NASA logo. So this is the NASA sparkly logo that kind of has all of these uh, stripes and pathways that show the pathway to the stars. <gasps> NASA Mars. Mars is a planet that is very close to us. We've learned enough about Mars that we've been able to send Mars rovers that actually land on the planet and try to explore. Mars is and has been a very interesting destination that we eventually hope to send people to as well. Curiosity, yay! So Curiosity is one of the Mars rovers. She has been there since 2012. We have been able to find that there are the conditions, the environment was right for life. Mars had water long enough to create the conditions for life. Mars was once habitable. That is not the same as having found life. Aha, uh -huh. Area 51 is a place in the United States, in the Southwest, where there is a lot of research that is done. Some of that is on aeronautical, some is on airplanes, and some of this is also space research. There have been stories about Area 51, flying saucers and UFOs. We have no evidence that there has ever been life anywhere other than the Earth. NASA is. NASA is fake. So, NASA is not fake. I actually work there. Space exploration is very exciting. We have evidence that we've been to the moon. We have priceless moon rocks that the astronauts have brought back. We have images. There is so much proof that what we've done is real. NASA, is there another Earth? Basically, almost every star you look at in the sky is likely to have planets. That's huge. We have not found a planet yet that is just like our Earth. But I'm telling you, the more we pull back that curtain, the more we see. NASA is where? Ah, there are 10 NASA centers located around the United States. Oh, NASA is Satan. Wow, that one's a little bit of a surprise. NASA is not Satan. NASA is good. This year is the 50th anniversary of the landing on the moon. And when you hear people talk about that, they don't say America landed on the moon. They say we landed on the moon. So NASA brings people together. NASA is a conspiracy. Again, NASA is not a conspiracy. NASA is not Satan. We are a group of people. This is about working together to bring back data that is freely available, that you can go to nasa.gov. NASA, what is NASA hiding? NASA is not hiding anything. I'm here in Italy and I wanted to see this morning what were the latest images from Mars. I looked at the public website. NASA is not about hiding. NASA is about sharing. What is NASA studying? We actually have had spacecraft around every planet in the solar system. So we really get to know what that planet is like. Once we talk about going beyond our solar system, we can't get there quickly enough with spacecraft, so we're using telescopes. 
So NASA also has programs like the Hubble Space Telescope. So we try to learn about our universe, our galaxy, and our solar system. What is a black hole? Okay, it's when a star is at the end of its life but instead of having the energy to explode outwards, what it does, it collapses in on itself. So all of that energy falls inward and the gravity is so strong that light cannot even escape. Oh, NASA, what is Artemis? So Artemis is a part of NASA's efforts to build rockets that we can now use to return to the moon and Mars. And Artemis is part of that program, the crew capsule and the rocket, which we hope will happen in the 2020s, early 2030s for the moon, and then the 2040s for Mars. So people are gonna be leaving Earth orbit. Very exciting. NASA, how? Okay, how to visit NASA. So if you happen to be in the United States, the two biggest visitor centers are at Kennedy Space Center in Florida and Johnson Space Center in Texas. NASA, how to work there. For most of our NASA centers, for the engineering side and to actually be an employee, there is a requirement to be a US citizen, or in some cases like at JPL, you can have a green card. However, if you're interested in space exploration, there are many ways to do it, and there are many organizations that contribute in addition to the government agencies. I should mention companies like SpaceX. How to spot an asteroid. Asteroids are be between Mars and Jupiter. They are small. They don't have their own light source. It's hard to see an asteroid. We want to make sure that we know where all the asteroids are that might come close to the Earth. That process is being done by some spacecraft that are actually in orbit looking for asteroids. We have not identified any asteroid that we know is a threat to the Earth that is heading towards us. However, there's something like three or four missions that have as a part of their objectives to try some planetary protection techniques. Next to last one, how to become an astronaut. It's not just about how good a pilot are you, or how smart are you in math and science, or whether you're the best doctor. None of those things matter if you can't also get along with people. And our last question, how do NASA rockets work? Right now we use chemical rockets primarily that use a hydrogen fuel and an oxidizer, produce a thrust that is strong enough to lift us off the Earth. The most expensive part is the first kilometer of leaving the Earth because that's where you need the energy to escape the Earth's gravity. We all learn about rockets as the very first step in what NASA does. You go to www.nasa.gov and see the real images, which I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy just as much.